Mr. President, I note the, the absence from Arkansas. Forum and ask unanimous consent that it be rescinded. Without objection. Thank you, Mr. President. I'm here today to honor a longtime champion of Arkansas, Congressman John Paul Hammerschmidt, who passed away earlier this, this month at age 92, after a long life as a dedicated public servant. As a member of the greatest generation, John Paul served as a combat pilot during World War II and was a decorated war hero. As a congressman from the 3rd District of Arkansas for 26 years and the only Republican member of the delegation at the time, he worked across the aisle to provide infrastructure and various improvements to Arkansas, paving the way for the growth in the northwest corner of the state. Even following his retirement more than 20 years ago, John Paul continued to serve the people who fondly referred to him as JPH. He always put Arkansas first. His vision for a two-party system in Arkansas led him to seek elected office. He paved the way for the Republican Party in the state, and his vision continues to be realized as the party continues its growth in the state. John Paul is a name that is just as familiar in Arkansas as it is to my colleagues in the Senate who served with him before serving in this chamber, as well as many members of the House who worked alongside him during his years of elected service. And through decades more of providing assistance to his beloved Arkansas. You would have been hard pressed to find a kinder, general man than John Paul Hammerschmidt. As a mentor and a friend, John Paul's wisdom and counsel has shaped my Washington experience more than anyone else. When I ran for Congress in 2001, I sought John Paul out for advice. I quickly learned as a newly elected member of Congress for the 3rd District of Arkansas how fond his former colleagues were of him. Senior members of the House of Representatives had so much respect for him that they welcomed me into their inner circle because he had given his approval. It was John Paul who taught me that after the election is over, there are no more Republicans or no more Democrats. There's only the people of Arkansas. His dedication to his constituents during his career in public service was unmatched and is a marker we should all strive to meet. During his time in Congress, he served in the minority but he would disagree without being disagreeable. I always value John Paul's friendship and his continued advice. John Paul set the standard for helping our Kansans. That bar is something members of the Arkansas Congressional Delegation continue to strive for today. His vision to improve life for our Kansans led him to serve on the House Veterans Affairs Committee as well as the House Transportation and Infrastructure Committee. By the time he retired, he served as the latter's ranking member. Using his position on the T&I Committee, he helped secure funds for roads and infrastructure projects, including Interstate 540, which now bears his name. The Northwest Arkansas Regional Airport, as well as protecting the Buffalo River and getting a designation as a, the first national river. John Paul left big shoes to fill. He believed he could make a difference in the lives of our, of our Kansans because he believed in loving his fellow man. We are capitalizing on the benefits he helped provide, a testament of his time in Washington. From all our Kansans, I thank John Paul for his devotion to public service, his leadership, and his dedication to Arkansas. His example is something we should continue to strive for here in Washington.